Sam from Road Trail Run here. It's the end of 2019. Want to give you our kind of summary of the best of the year. Um, while you often hear me on the YouTube channel uh, with solo reviews, we actually have 13 reviewers who write on our website. Um, they range in speeds from a 107 half person to people in the four hour range. They run 5Ks to ultra marathons. They're all over the world from New Hampshire to California to Utah to Singapore. So every year um, we do our best of articles. You'll find them linked here. Uh, the team reviewed over 145 different running oriented products in 2019, from running shoes to gear to GPS. And we all had a great time doing it. Uh, I personally reviewed uh, approximately 90 products, and I would estimate about 75 different running shoes. So we, our multi-tester format really gives people a wide, wide perspective of opinions from different skills. And I'm very grateful that we have such a great team. So here we go with some more details on our best of 2019. Uh, and I'm going to give you a bit of a summary, and I'll start with my personal favorites, some of which also were uh, very much the group's favorites. So the shoe that got the most, if you will, top uh, likes in best smiles, best shoe for trail, um, and best speed trail shoe was the Skechers uh, Performance Speed Trail Hyper. This wonderful little shoe weighs less than eight ounces or 227 grams. Uh, it has plenty of cushion with hyperburst, the wonderful hyperburst at the heel and ultra flight at, in the forefoot, the yellow, and it has a, pla a nylon propulsion plate. It also has a mono mesh upper, which we also see on the GoMeb Speed 6. Hyper, another favorite of the group. So uh, Dom Layfield, our veteran, and super accomplished ultra runner said about this shoe, this was a breath of fresh air in the trail, uh, trail shoe world, and it truly is. So it's a wonderful little shoe, super supportive, super um, well cushioned, if not maximally cushioned, protective and propulsive from the plate. That upper really holds the foot super well on just about any terrain. Of course, it won't last forever and ever, uh, it's really a race shoe. You can see it has a fairly low profile outsole that we'll see some wear, but it's a wonderful shoe. Often we see our favorites in the race category, and of course, uh, the next percent was on many of our reviewers' lists, including mine. Uh, the, not much to be said, really. Everybody knows about the next percent. But really what I, I find amazing is that it weighs less than uh, 7 ounces, uh, which in grams is um, 198 grams. It has tons of cushion to really keep your legs fresh. It's really the ultimate long-distance racing shoe. And even with about 15% more cushion, uh, it comes in yet lighter than last year's version. A clear uh, favorite of uh, several of our testers and right up there in terms of most popular shoes was the Skechers Performance Go Meb Speed 6 Hyper. It has a midfoot injected P-Bax plate, similar kind of material to what's in that incredible speed trail. It also has a similar uh, upper, mono mesh upper, and it has a full hyperburst midsole. It makes it really a rocket. I'm kind of sad I didn't uh, test it. I kind of passed on it, but it's an incredible uh, shoe for going fast in those shorter races. In the training category, uh, it's kind of personal. Uh, people uh, for road, people had a number of different choices, which you see here. All of them garnered more than, uh, more than two, uh, two or more uh, likes, if you will, or votes. Um, the ASICS Glide Ride really put ASICS back on the map as far as uh, running shoes uh, after several years of kind of slumber with a really pronounced rocker profile, a super comfortable upper, a very propulsive effect, and decently light. Um, it was my favorite um, uh, daily trainer of the year. 
Next, in the more super cushion category, I really like the Mizuno uh, Wave Sky Wave Knit 3. Mizuno, another brand that's kind of come back with this shoe, got rid of their super stiff uh, plastic uh, plates and put in a, uh, a wavy EVA plate. It's a very well cushioned shoe um, with a, some flexibility at the forefoot, kind of something I like. I like a stable, well-held heel and some flexibility. It has a very welcome in the rear X-pop, the yellow um, insert for some extra cush. It's just a great shoe to go out and do uh, easier miles in. It was kind of the shoe that I reached for when I had none of uh, some none others to run in. I actually ran in over 90 different shoes this year, and this one I often reach for. It has a very sophisticated engineered knit upper, which holds the foot super well. There are absolutely no overlays. Everything is knit in. You can see it's 3D. A wonderful shoe. The Hoka Evo Speed Goat and Speed Goat 4 were on just about all of our lists as one of the best of 2019. The uh, Evo Speed Goat gets the matrix upper of the Evo Mafade. It is more flexible and lighter at 9.3 ounces or uh, 264 grams. It's a wonderful, super cushioned, more agile uh, trail racer runner that really is delightful. And then, of course, there's also the Speed Goat 4, which gets a wider fit, which delighted our testers. And here's my wife's uh, Speed Goat 4 GTX, which she's enjoying a lot. Michael Ellenberger, our fastest um, uh, tester, a 107 half guy, had the Pegasus Zoom Pegasus Turbo 2 from Nike as his trainer of the year. And Jeff Beck in Arizona had it as his biggest smiles shoe of the year. So it's light, it's a super cushion with that Zoom X, and it's a big improvement over version one, they all thought. A controversial shoe to say the least, and other Skechers, the Max Road 4 Hyper. Uh, all of us loved the ride, but some struggled with the uh, with hotness and blisters in the forefoot. I didn't, and, and neither did Peter Stewart. It was my big smile shoe of the year for the road. And the reason is, as you really pick up the pace, those deep pillars really activate. And you just get a wonderfully, wonderfully fast ride. Uh, it's a very light shoe. Um, I think about 8.4 8 ounces with a ton of cushioning. The upper was challenging for some. The pillars were challenging for some. But everybody agreed it was a super fun ride if you could make it through. We're looking forward to... Skechers uh, fixing some of those things. Several like the, uh, again, another Skechers, the Razor, uh, also with a little bit different mono mesh upper than we see in the Speed Trail and the, um, the uh, Gomeb um, Speed Hyper. Uh, it's a, a light trainer racer. Uh, it was on several lists as well. The Mighty Carbon X from Hoka, and you'll see two versions here because I was fortunate enough to actually run in a pre-production pre version, the all-white. I had a wonderful 20-mile race um, before Boston and a disastrous Boston, but that was mainly, I think, due to my seasonal allergies. So a lot of cushion, a super stable wide base which really moves you along. It has a carbon plate, which, um, which is, uh, which is uh, propulsive, but a little bit flatter feel than, uh, if you will, the, um, the next percent. On many lists, the New Balance Fresh Foam 10, 1080 V10. So it took 10 versions, but uh, New Balance really, really got the uh, 1080 to be a superb daily trainer. It's not as stiff, it's not as firm, but it does have that wonderful uh, performance-oriented fit. It has a really cool, the white stitching is actually stitched in fiber that provides the support and a great heel, heel cup as well. Um, they did some one, good things with the outsole to give it the flexibility and kind of a smoother ride. Uh, I might very much enjoyed it. It was on several lists. Finally, uh, Topo, the Topo Zephyr. 
this uh, daily trainer uh, was on several people's lists. It's the first Topo that I found wasn't overly firm or even on, say, the Phantom Mushy. Moves right along. Uh, some of our reviewers thought it was a bit of a compliment to the next percent as a trainer. It has, of course, that super, super wide toe box that, and an upper that just fits beautifully. Uh, the zip foam is softer than the typical Topo, but this is a responsive, fast ride, and really, we think, one of the first uh, Topos that's going to be a huge mainstream success. So, as we look back over all our, our favorites of the year, quite a year in running as the shoe companies really, really worked hard on foams. Of course, we have the Hyperburst in the Skechers, the Zoom X in the Nike, uh, new flavors of Flight Foam with Asics, Mizuno really working the ride, getting away from all that uh, stiff, soft stuff, and Hoka with their more traditional EVA foam, but that rubberized, um, that rubberized foam outsole. And then almost, you'd say, venerable fresh foam um, now with different hexagon or different shapes, more laser carving, a softer, uh, smoother ride, but still responsive. And finally, our uh, Zephyr from Topo with their zip foam, which moves right along. So we're really looking forward to uh, 2020. We have a video of some of the the great finds for 2020 some of them we've already tested uh, you can go to each of our 13 wonderful reviewers articles um, which linked here at the end and also in the description and we want to thank everybody for watching this year and here's to a wonderful 2020 on the roads and trails wherever you may be thanks for watching